How could trial delays potentially benefit Donald Trump? An intriguing question that's been making the rounds recently, given the former president's ongoing legal battles. So, let's take a walk through the chronicles of Trump's trials and explore this question in depth. Our journey begins in early March 2024, with the first trial accusing Trump of seeking to overturn the 2020 election. Trump's defense, claiming immunity from the charges, a claim that's likely to take a detour to the Supreme Court. Now, if the court moves quickly or opts not to hear the case immediately, we could see the trial proceeding in late spring. But a spring trial for the first case could potentially delay the Manhattan criminal case scheduled for late March. This case charges Trump with making payments to cover up a sex scandal during the 2016 campaign. If delays push the Manhattan case into November, Trump could potentially dismiss the federal case or seek protection from the state cases under the rule that a sitting president cannot be criminally prosecuted. Intriguing, isn't it? Now, on to the third case. The federal January 6th trial, which could be deferred due to the other two trials. The timing of this trial, as well as the others, hinges on how swiftly the Supreme Court responds to Trump's immunity appeal. The last two trials, one involving mishandling classified documents and another involving election interference in Georgia, may be delayed until late 2024 or 2025. If Trump becomes president again, he could potentially order the Justice Department to shut down the federal case and claim protection from criminal prosecution in the Georgia case. Phew, that's quite the legal labyrinth, yet the potential benefits for Trump are clear. Delays could provide him with opportunities to dismiss cases, seek presidential protection from prosecution, and possibly even influence the direction of the Justice Department. To summarize, Trump is facing four criminal trials. Delays in these trials, particularly the first one involving the overturning of the 2020 election, could potentially benefit him in numerous ways. From gaining presidential immunity to dictating the course of federal cases, these delays may well be a strategic advantage for Donald Trump. So, the next time you hear about a delay in Trump's trials, remember, time might just be on his side. As always, the world of politics never ceases to captivate with its twists and turns. Until the next update, stay curious and keep questioning.